The International Decade for People of African Descent Assembly, Guyana, have been representing and assisting the development of African Guyanese individuals and organizations over the past several years. Public Relations Officer Keishel Jennings explained that one of the issues faced by young Afro-Guyanese is unemployment. As such, a youth conference scheduled for March 13th and 14th will give youths the opportunity to bring their business ideas and compete for a monetary prize which will fund the business. Um, upcoming, we have one of our major programs for the year, the youth conference, and one of the, the, the highlights is the Investathon. And I think this is the first time something like this is being done in Guyana, where we are giving young people the opportunity to bring a business idea and compete for a monetary prize. And if that business idea is one that which our investors are interested in, they will put monetary um, contributions towards that idea. So I think this is, a, this is honestly, I think would be groundbreaking and we hope to continue to do that program, especially if it's successful. It will be successful. <laughs> Chairman of the Youth Committee, Nicholas Elliott, also spoke about issues faced by young Afro-Guyanese, such as the lack of opportunities. Some of the problems that we have encountered include um, just having a general knowledge and uh, the, it's like a, an approach to, to, to work, approach to, to opportunities and so on. You find that persons feel disenfranchised a lot and they might not have the, the skills necessary to, to make use of an opportunity that might be presented to them. And in a lot of situations as well, you have a total lack of opportunity. And so what we seek to do is have persons trained, have youth familiar with ways of recognizing when an opportunity has presented itself and how you can go about um, making the best use of that opportunity um, as far as possible. Majority of the programs done by the organization also targets the youth self-development. Special programs were done in February in recognition of Black History Month. However, Jennings said that these programs are not limited to Afro-Guyanese, but the content is focused on the Afro-Guyanese community. Being in the pandemic, most of our events are virtually, uh, estimating that they reach thousands of people according to the Facebook algorithm. Uh, our youth programs have specifically focused their Spill the Facts series on Black History Month. We've had topics ranging from black love and relationship, how to navigate that as Afro-Guyanese, um, and how to navigate the banking systems and financial freedom for young people. Among the plans for this year are programs that will target sport, mental health, and financial development. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Istanala Patwo.